When you put detergent in the laundry, that is an, it contains emulsifiers. The, the goal of that detergent is to bring together fatty molecules with water molecules and be able to dissociate them and break them up to get the stains out of clothes and things of that sort. There are a lot of emulsifiers put into processed foods. And those emulsifiers allow certain chemical reactions to occur that extends the shelf life of those foods. Why are emulsifiers bad? Okay, there are a lot of reasons why they're bad, but the reason why they're bad for the mechanisms that we've been talking about today is that when you ingest those foods, you're bringing those emulsifiers into your gut. And those emulsifiers strip away the mucosal lining of the gut and they actually cause the neurons that innervate the gut, that extend those little processes we call axons into the gut, to retract deeper into the gut. And as a consequence, you're ingesting a bunch of food and the signals like CCK never get deployed. The signals that actually shut down hunger are never actually triggered. And so as a consequence, you want to eat far more of these highly processed foods. In addition, if you then go from eating a highly processed food to to non-highly processed foods, you're not able to measure the amounts of amino acids, sugars, and fatty acids in those foods as accurately. You've actually done structural damage at a micro level, but structural level damage, excuse me, to the mucosal lining of the gut. Now this can all be repaired if you stay away from highly processed foods for some period of time, but the negative effects of these emulsifiers are quite real. So to make it really clean and simple, emulsifiers from highly processed foods are limiting your gut's ability to detect what's in the foods you eat and therefore to deploy the satiety signals, the signals that shut down hunger.